What is up YouTube? It's Ayabo and Smackin' Pie here. A very quicky, quicky news update. I wanted to make this a separate video for Monsters and Mortals fans, if there are. I like that. It's, it's a joke, man. Chill out, man. Okay. So I'm just gonna hit you with the biggest news possible. Fantastic news. Even better news for Roblox and Monsters and Mortals fans. The upcoming, later this year, The Doors DLC and The Piggy DLC both will be free oh, wow. on monsters and mortals let me repeat myself ladies and gentlemen the piggy dlc which was due to drop first and then followed up with the doors dlc they are both will now be combined so both piggy and doors dlc will be one dlc they will be both combined so there will be two maps don't worry they will be separate maps separate characters but both of them will be combined and will release as one dlc so y'all don't have to pay anything Y'all don't have to do anything related to anything. All you gotta do is be active online when the DLC drops. Download on your Steam. I will be here hopefully playing it live with y'all. Their, their lobbies is gonna be crazy. And I think it's a fantastic decision from Glowstick to Gunnerman from Roblox, you know, Doors and Piggy developers that this should be free. It should be free because... Again, just like I said about, you know, I talked about, I talked about this in the last video that FNAF is, is a community driven, you know, IP. Dart is used to be a community driven IP as well. And Roblox and Piggy, they were free, you know, kind of sort of, what do you want to call it? Fan games? Kind of sort of. I, I consider them something as an additional add ons. I personally would not have played Roblox if it weren't for Piggy and Doors. These are the only two I've played on Roblox. So let that sink in. So yeah, I'm personally super duper excited for it. I don't, we won't have to wait for both of them separately. We just and wait for one and both of them will come as one guest dlc free packet so now y'all don't have any excuse by the way for those of you who are wondering okay smack you know the, the 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 first of all i can't talk today but for those of you who are wondering hey yo smack who even plays this game so vincent Levings talked about this on his twitter where he said i think gamers often underestimate how hard it is to make a multiplayer horror game that survives and remains profitable enough to sustain for longer than a year even freemium free multiplayer games and games from AAA company with famous ips and big witches like dbd often struggle Horror fans just move on really fast and largely prefer single player games. Where he shows the examples of Project Playtime, where 200 players are playing. He shows Evil Dead the game, which was hyped up to be, oh my god, this is gonna be next dead, but it only has 13 players now, so we got an official competition. <laughs> then we got Secret Neighbor, 98 players, which is actually really respectable enough. And then we got Outlast Trials. Of course, Outlast is a very established, you know, IP, so of course, a thousand players playing right now but you're wondering smack where does monsters and mortals stand he clarified vince living said that monsters and mortals does not depend on concurrent player account for revenue which makes sense it makes money from base game and dlc purchases and he reveals that over 124,124k players have purchased monsters and mortals so far and the development cost is low so it's able to survive and slowly grow the community is passionate and has kept the game alive for almost four years, making one of the longest running multiplayer games of the past decade. Now, of course, we're not, you know, one would have to assume some of them, the purchases were, you know, bought on discount. Some of them, the keys were given to, you know, fans for between the giveaways and whatnot. So there you go. That's why the Lost Entertainment, you know, they don't care much about the concurrent player stats. When I say stats, I mean concurrent player number because they make money off when the game when a person or a user or a gamer buys the game or purchases additional dlc just a quick update to add to the previous video first of all i'd like to apologize i am recording this with a fan right to my face it is summer after all but adding a couple things onto the previous update video is that we now have a short demo running on playstation 5 of monsters and mortals as you can see on your screens as we speak this is the developer kit first things first by the way that it won't be cross play i believe it was said somewhere but a game being on console will take it later on and finally we got our first early look at the development of a doke market map from the coma 2 dlc this is the coma the horror game which i bought on my nintendo switch and then i sold 
the Nintendo Switch, so that game is on that, both the console and the account, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but that game's DLC is coming to most models, and as you can see on your screen, so we have this daylight update, it is very early, early in development, but it is coming along nicely, just reminds me of the chapter 5 early development update, do y'all remember those days? Do y'all remember those days? Yeah, those are like 2-3 days now, maximum. <laughs> oh, by the way, before we leave, do y'all know that Garten of Ban Ban is now on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, all four chapters? Well, our four games, let that sink in, bro. PlayStation officially posted the Garden of Ban Ban all for, like, launch trailer, and that made it to PlayStation YouTube before both Poppy Playtime and Dark Deception. Let that sink in, bro. Okay, let's get back to the video. I'm gonna leave you guys, ladies and gentlemen. Susu for more. I'll see you in the next one.